The two things that every human being has in common, all of us, is suffering and love. And I think what we really need to do is show students that their suffering is not an isolated incident, that they're not alone. So for me, for instance, my father was assassinated, my father was killed, my uncle was killed. And so for many years, the pain of that was so strong in my family. But then I learned to see this not as an isolated incident, not something that just impacted me, but that it was a violation of human rights. And that made me understand that there were thousands and thousands of people just like me, and that I could learn to stop this, that this is a pattern and I could learn to stop it, and I could learn to stop it through learning about human rights and creating change. And that's what we want to bring to Colombia. Everybody is concerned about education in the post-conflict arena. And the real answer is human rights education. That's something that Robert F. Kennedy Human Rights has been doing for 20 years. We teach about a million students per year human rights education. We're bringing this um, education program here to Columbia, uh, where we highlight the works of human rights defenders like the Nobel laureates. And we teach students how to create change in their classroom, community, country, and globally on human rights. Well, I think that every country on earth needs to change their education systems to make it more sensitized to the empowerment of women and, um, and uh, to help women be more, um, uh, have more availability of schools and particularly in areas of technology, of mathematics, of science. And so that's a problem that every education system around the world is facing and um, that we're seeking to help work with countries to create that change. We need to not just teach children reading and writing and arithmetic. We also need to teach them that they can make a difference, that they're empowered, that when they feel suffering and they see problems in their communities, that there are ways that they can take action, that they're not victims, but they are activists, and that there's a, a method, a way forward to make change that's peaceful and effective.